What's up ladies and gentlemen, Steven here and today we're going to be talking about alien movies. Pretty much, if it came from space, it might be on this list. And if I miss something, as always guys, go to the comment section, let me know what I missed, what I got wrong, you guys know the deal. Pretty much, here are the top 10 best alien movies of all time. Coming in at number 10, Men in Black. Following his transition from TV star to bona fide summer movie star, Will Smith teamed up with Tommy Lee Jones for a classic sci-fi comedy. Showing that alien invasions don't have to be scary, Men in Black sets out to give us a funny adventure. Smith and Lee play agents who are devoted to policing alien refugees that have been trapped on Earth. Will Smith plays the fish out of water character as he is the rookie on the team. The film is a full-blown popcorn thrill ride, fueled by Smith and Jones chemistry which entertained a whole lot of people and led to a massive box office. Think of it this way, Men in Black is basically Ghostbusters with aliens instead of ghosts. That might sound appealing to some and not to others, but to me, it was a hell of a lot of fun. Well, well, big bad bug got a bit of a soft spot, huh? <laughs> See, what I can't understand is why you gotta come down here bringing all this ruckus, snatching up galaxies and everything. My attitude is, don't start nothing. <laughs> Won't be nuts. Coming in at number nine, Predator. So Predator might come across as just another Arnold Schwarzenegger action film at first glance. And it's not until the Predator himself actually shows up in the film that it goes into a weirder, never before seen territory for that time period. With an alien who's stalking humans in the South American jungle, he starts pursuing and killing Schwarzenegger's team who were sent there to fight what they thought were going to be guerrilla warfare fighters. The film is filled with phenomenal action scenes directed by John McTiernan, who also directed Die Hard the following year. One of the best overlooked things about the film is that we never know why the Predator is here. Is it an advanced scout? Is it a lost explorer? Is it a mercenary here sent to eliminate humanity? We never know and the film is so much fun, we don't care. The movie lives on its relentless suspense, its hideous monster, and Schwarzenegger's winning performance. Not to mention the final confrontation between him and the Predator is absolutely a classic scene. The film's concept is simple, kill or be killed, which when it comes to alien invasion movies, sometimes that's all you need. Coming in at number 8, The Thing. John Carpenter's modern classic is not a remake of the 1951 film, but a fresh adaptation of the original source material, Who Goes There? It keeps the premise of an aggressive alien capable of adapting other life forms, but the film takes a lot of liberties and makes something truly unique. From the beginning, the movie makes the threat clear, yet unpredictable and uneasy. Never knowing who to trust and who the alien could be, the film stars Kurt Russell as a researcher at an Antarctic station with his crew who discovers something that should have remained hidden. The film is directed to near perfection, filling each scene with suspense and genuine horror. There are plenty of memorable scenes that stay with you long after you've seen the film, and to this day, people can remember these scenes vividly. The movie was way ahead of its time, and critics have actually reevaluated the film to show it the respects it deserves, after failing to do so when the film was initially released. The film is a great horror film, a great alien film, a great suspense thriller. The movie has so much going for it that it's one that you definitely should have watched by now. It isn't Fennec. Coming in at number 7, Close Encounters of the Third Kind One of the most thought-provoking science fiction films of all time, Close Encounters of the Third Kind was a personal project for Steven Spielberg, and it was actually met with tremendous critical and box office success for its time. The focus of the film is really about humanity's first contact with alien creatures that come to Earth. Rather than your typical alien movie that has the military deciding to shoot first and ask questions later, this film takes the approach that mankind is ready to make contact, and instead tries to greet the cosmic visitors with love and kindness, showing them that we respect them and want to learn about them. It's a film filled with science fiction themes that are massively used. Of all the other films on this list, no other movie has made me want to actually believe in aliens more than this one. Unit 
Coming in at number 6, Attack the Block. Set in the housing projects of London, Attack the Block is a thrill ride from start to finish. The film stars John Boyega before he became a household name. What makes the film feel special is the fact that it goes against the grain of typical alien invasion movies where the monuments are attacked. Here the aliens just decide to attack, well, the London hood. The aliens are unique and unlike any we've ever seen before, which is something really special. The film is a hybrid horror sci-fi comedy that tackles racism, classism, and police prejudice while also managing to be hilarious and genuinely scary. The film may be centered on children, but it's filled with plenty of cursing and gore, taking its R rating very seriously. It truly rivaled and surpassed just about every other summer blockbuster that came out that year, even though this film had an extremely low budget. Attack the Block is truly a unique alien invasion story that you should definitely watch. What the? They found us. How could they find us? There's like 160 doors in this block. Listen, whatever kind of gang war bullshit you're involved in, leave me out of it, please. Hey, this thing got nothing to do with gangs. Or drugs, or rap music, or violence in video games. This is the worst night of my life. Feelings mutual. Coming in at number five, Edge of Tomorrow. One of the biggest surprises of 2014 was Edge of Tomorrow. The premise was outrageous with Tom Cruise of all actors playing a cowardly PR out of touch soldier who gains the ability to relive the same day every time he dies. Pretty much think Groundhog's Day meets Independence Day. It's a screwball combination that somehow is amazing to watch. The aliens in the film feel very unique and different. They're fast, they're quick, they have very special abilities. They're like no aliens you've ever seen before. And with a co-lead and Emily Blunt coming off as such a badass whose name is actually Full Metal Bitch, this movie is tons of fun. The film is funny, thrilling, and filled with a ton of heart and action to go around. What could have been an extremely dumb Transformers style script actually turned out to be incredibly smart. This is honestly the best video game style movie that we will probably ever have. You can fly it, can't you? No. Well, yes. I mean, I can take off. I'm still working on my landing. What are we still doing here? You're wasting time. Rita, if you start that engine, you die. This is as far as you go. No matter what I do, this is as far as you ever make it. Coming in at number four, District 9. What might be the most intellectual film on this list, District 9 is what sci-fi films as a whole should strive for. Is the film about an alien invasion? Yes, but it's about a passive yet prevalent one. Set in South Africa, the movie is a powerful metaphor for the intolerance and bigotry that still exists in the country today. The aliens that landed here are stuck and can't leave. So they are sent to live in refugee camps where they are treated like third class citizens. The film follows Charlotte Copley as we go through these slums and see how these aliens are treated. We never know why the aliens came here in the first place and what their intentions actually were, but humanity comes across as the bad guys in the situation. That resembles at times how things are in the real world. We fear what we don't understand and anything different is automatically not on the same level as us. It's a film that makes you think. It's a film that makes you wonder. If a film that makes you say, how bad are we as humans? We're still waiting for Neil Bloomkamp to hit another stride like this one, but this is a must watch. I'm gonna teach you that gonna tell you when you shut up! Hey, hey, hey! Ah! Oh, holy shit! Ah! 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 Marzan Yama! Marzan Yama! You tell him to stand up! <laughs> watch him, watch him, watch I had him up boa, boa. Coming in at number three. Aliens. There are a few series that have sequels that come close to living up to the original. Aliens is the movie that not only lives up to the original, but for many, surpasses the original. The reason being is because it doesn't try to recreate everything the original did so well. Instead of trying to be a traditional horror film, it takes an action approach with horror themes. And because of that twist, it secures a solid place on this list. Director James Cameron was coming off the success of The Terminator, and he was able to make Aliens for around 18 million, and it pulled in 131 million worldwide. Arguably the definitive best sci-fi action film of all time, Alien proved that sometimes more is more and it's better. There are almost as many one-liners as there are xenomorphs in this crazy sequel. Most of them come courtesy of the late great Bill Paxton. It took the action side of things to a whole nother level, and the excellent camera work and directing throughout the film adds to the chilling suspense of the whole movie. It's honestly a true hybrid of what you want in an action sci-fi movie. 
You want the horror, you want the sci-fi, but you also want amazing action with great characters. James Cameron delivers that here. Five meters, man. Four. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh, shit. Give me the light. Coming in at number two, E.T. Made for only $10.5 million, E.T. was the highest grossing film in history until Jurassic Park was released in 1993. The story of E.T. is guaranteed to tug at even the meanest grouchies of heartstrings. E.T. is stranded on Earth and all he wants to do is go home. The elegant and simple tale of a young boy's friendship with a homesick alien somehow became an instant classic. And we can thank the deliberate pacing and great performances that Spielberg was able to bring out in the film. He gave us one of the most iconic scenes in movie history. E.T. in the basket of a bike flying over a full moon with a flawless John Williams score playing in the background. E.T. is one of those rare films that works for kids, works for adults. It scares you, it makes you cry, it makes you feel things. And it's one that to this day holds up like if it came out yesterday. Home? You're right. That's E.T.'s home. Huh? E.T. Home phone. E.T. phone home. Mm. E.T. phone home. E.T. phone home. No! No, no! Guard over that door! There's a woman. She's in the door. Help her! No one can! Open the door! She's begging me! Do not let her in! Ah! This way! This way! Get up! Get up! That's what you get! <laughs> Look at you! Ship all bang up! Who's the man? Huh? Who's the man? Wait till I get another plane! I'm lining all your friends up right beside you! Human. 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 <laughs> Coming in at number one, Alien. In space, no one can hear you scream. One of the best taglines in movie history belongs to Alien. It is probably the most masterfully done sci-fi horror film of all time. The reason that it came in first is because not only is it a terrifying film that resonates with audiences to this day, but also because it introduces the most feared alien species in all of cinema, the Xenomorph. And when it comes to the tone of the film, it's set early on when there is no dialogue for the first six minutes of the movie. A spaceship gets a distress call on a moon and after arriving, the crew is attacked by a mysterious alien. The original Alien film may not be as action thrilling as its sequel, but what it lacks in crowd pleasing popcorn fun, it makes up for in pure style and influence over the art of filmmaking in general. From the score, from the look, from the unique characters, from the atmosphere that was set up, everything about this film is absolutely perfect. Alien is simply just the best Alien movie of all time. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the list. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. You guys know the deal. Subscribe to the channel for more top tens. And as always, guys, if I missed something, if I got something wrong, if something doesn't belong on this list, let me know. Let me know what should be on this list and what shouldn't be on this list. As always, guys, my name is Stephen. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I had a mission. It was to find love.
Like an angel. 